Hello superheroes, welcome to my channel. I'm Scarlett Grace from Ansinserif.com. I'm a manifestation coach and in today's video I'm going to answer the most common and the most frequently asked question I get about manifesting. How long do I have to imagine for something to manifest? So if you've had this question yourself, then make sure to watch this video until the end because by then you will know exactly what to do and why you need to do it in order to manifest absolutely any desire you have. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to talk about how long you need to keep imagining your desire in order for it to manifest in the physical 3D world. By the way, if you're new to this channel and you want to learn how to easily and joyfully manifest all your desires, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because I put out new videos every week to help you manifest all your desires and create a life beyond your wildest dreams. Alright, so for how long do you need to imagine a desire until it manifests? Is it enough to do it once? Do you have to do it for a week, a month, once a day? twice a day, more? The simple answer to this is, it depends. But to fully understand how long you specifically have to imagine for your specific desire to manifest in the physical 3D world, we have to look into how imagining works to create and reshape your reality, because this is where the answer to your question lies. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you already know that to manifest the desire you have, there are just a few simple steps you need to follow. If you're brand new to my channel or to manifestation in general and you don't know these steps, then I've made a video explaining this process in detail, step by step. I'll link that up to the right and I'll also put the link in the description below so that you can go watch it and learn exactly how to do it. But here's the short version of it for the purposes of this video. First of all, you need to decide on exactly what it is you want to manifest. This can be anything, like a specific person, or $10,000, or getting a specific job, for example. But you need to be specific about it. Then, you need to think of an event in the future that would only happen if and only if that specific desire had already manifested. For example, such an event could be a party to celebrate getting your dream job. This party is an event that wouldn't happen unless you had already gotten the job. Then, after finding that event that would happen if and only if your desire had already manifested, you need to create a short imaginary scene of that event in your mind. Relax your body, close your eyes, and play that scene over and over in your mind until it feels real to you. Until it feels like a real event that has actually happened in your life. Then, after you've done your imagining session, after you've played your scene over and over in your mind, you need to leave from the end. To think and feel as if your desire has already manifested. Now what this has to do with how long you need to imagine for your desire to manifest? Here's the thing. The way imagining works to manifest something in your external reality is this. Your imagination picks the focus, the thing you want to manifest. And the reason you pick a scene after your manifestation has come to pass is to ensure that you're picking a future reality where this desire has absolutely 100% manifested the way you wanted it. Well, if you pick the actual event, for example, someone saying you're hired, you don't know what happens next. Maybe they change their minds. Maybe something goes wrong. But if you pick an event after being hired, when you're happy and celebrating, then by default, you were not only hired, but everything went really well too, or you wouldn't be celebrating. Anyway, choosing this scene is the way to focus and zero in on what it is you want to manifest. Then, by playing the scene over and over in your mind and making it as realistic as possible until you feel it has actually happened, you create the feelings inside of you that you would have if it, it had actually happened. These feelings are what power the manifestation process. Now here's the thing, and that's where we need to focus on answering the how long do I need to imagine question. To manifest anything, you need to convince your body and your mind that it has already happened, and in your imagination, inhabit that reality where you already have it. We call that living from the end. 
So your body and mind don't distinguish between something you have experienced in the outside, physical world, and something you, you have experienced internally, vividly, in your imagination. As long as you picture something vividly enough and in a realistic way, your mind and your body will react and respond as if it's actually happening. For example, as you're listening to this video, try to imagine that you're holding a lemon. See the lemon in your hand and imagine cutting it in half and biting into one half of it. Imagine the taste of the lemon, the strong sour taste on your tongue and feel the juices flowing down your chin. Even without closing your eyes and focusing exclusively on that scene of biting into the lemon, your mouth is probably salivating right now the way it would be if you had actually decided to bite a sour lemon. Or to give you another example, when you're watching a scary movie, your heart will start beating faster and faster. For example, during a scene where the protagonist is walking down a dark alley at night all alone and she starts feeling she's being followed. Even though you're safe at home, sitting on your couch and watching a movie, and you're in no physical danger, the scene in the movie will trigger your body to react the same way it would react if you were in that dark alley yourself late at night and you were being followed. It will release the same chemicals like adrenaline, for example, to help you run faster and escape whatever danger is lurking in the shadows, and your brain will automatically process the environment and the situation and will scream run at you. This reaction of your mind and your body is the same one you would have if this event in the movie was actually happening to you in the physical world. Even though it's an imaginary event, your body reacts as if it's physical. And that's exactly how the manifestation process works. Imagine something vividly enough and for long enough and your body and mind will start operating as if the event is actually manifested in physical reality. And if you keep doing that, then eventually the event will manifest in physical reality. Just like with a scary scene in the movie though, if you imagine something once and your body and mind react as if it's real, but you then shrug it off and tell yourself, whatever, this isn't real, then nothing will change in your physical reality. Otherwise, every time we watch the scary movie, we'd immediately start manifesting similar bad stuff in our physical life. In the same way, if you imagine your desire having manifested once and then just go on with your life, chances are it won't manifest in the physical 3D world. Now, I'm not saying imagining once is never effective. It may be. In fact, I've manifested many things just by thinking about them once and then letting go of them. To give you an example, back in April, I wanted to use a particular service from a specific company and that service wasn't available in my country. This service was something business related and I needed it for something I was planning to do around fall, so I set the intention that by mid-September that service will be available to me somehow. But then my plan changed and I didn't need the service anymore, so I totally forgot about it until now. A few days ago, I got an email saying this service is going to be available in my country too from now on. So even though I only imagined it a couple of times back in April and then completely forgot about it, it still happened. It still manifested. And the stunts of things I've only briefly focused on once and they ended up manifesting. But here's the thing. It wasn't all that important to me for this service to become available here. It was more of a, mm, it would be nice if I had access to it, that kind of thing. It wasn't something I saw as difficult to manifest or important or big or, oh my God, if it doesn't happen, what am I going to do? I didn't have any resistance towards it. And most of the things I manifest just by thinking about them once are things that are either small and easy in my mind or stuff that's not my deepest, most heartfelt desires or anything I've messed up in my life in the past. If, though, what you want to manifest is something that is very important to you, if it's something you have a lot of resistance and negative programming around, or if it's something you've messed up in the past, like, for example, your desire is to bring an ex back and the relationship was messy or the breakup was messy, then chances are that by imagining it once, you aren't going to change what your body and your brain think is your reality. Just like watching a scary scene in a scary movie will only temporarily make your body and your brain react as if it's happening, imagining something just once when you have years of limiting thoughts and beliefs around it will most likely only temporarily convince your body and your mind that what you're imagining is your new physical reality. 
And if you don't convince your body and your mind that it's your new physical reality, then that means that after your imagining session is over, you won't be living from the end. You won't be living from your desire having already manifested. Because just like with a movie, your body and your brain will shake it off, thinking, meh, that wasn't real anyway. So in the example of getting your ex back, your brain will just go back to having thoughts about how hurt you feel because of all the stuff that they said in the weeks leading to your breakup and your body will react by producing chemicals that make you feel sad and depressed and angry and all that stuff. If you decide though to spend 10 or 15 minutes at least once a day, every day, imagining, playing your imaginal scene over and over, then you will start conditioning your brain and your body to believe that this is your new reality. So day by day, your brain will start to give you different thoughts and your body will produce different chemicals instead of the ones that made you feel sad and depressed and angry. And day by day, it will be easier and easier to maintain that mental and emotional state of living from the end, living as if your desire has already manifested. So to answer the question, how long do I have to imagine for my desire to manifest? The answer is long enough for your whole being to be convinced that the reality in your imagination, the imaginal reality where your desire is already yours, is more real than your current physical reality. And that's not a set amount of time that me or anyone else can tell you this is how long you need to do this for. It changes not only from person to person, but also from desire to desire for the same person. There are desires that you can only briefly think of and you'll see them pop up in your physical reality just like that. And there are other desires that may need several days or a week or even a month or more until they manifest. And some desires, if, even if you can very easily believe with your whole being that they have already manifested, may take longer because everything needs its own time to happen. Like the service I mentioned earlier, for example, that wasn't available in April. I didn't have any particular resistance around it. I didn't even need it anymore when it manifested. It still took five months to be manifested in the physical world. Why? I can't say for sure, but I bet it has something to do with how companies can't just decide they want to become active in another country today and be all set up and running tomorrow. It needs planning and paperwork and legal stuff and finding offices and hiring people and other stuff like that. Because when I had inquired back in April if they had plans to expand to my country, they replied that generally speaking they did, but they couldn't say if it would be this year or maybe in a couple of years. But my point is that only you can accurately say if you've planted the seed properly and if you're truly living from the end or not. And the way to do that is this. First of all, if you have to ask me or any other manifestation coach the question, but wouldn't just doing this once be enough, then it's for sure not enough. If it was enough for you and for this particular desire, then you wouldn't need to ask, because it would either have already manifested, or you would be too immersed in living from the end to even feel the need to ask this question. You would already know, you would already fully believe that you've done everything correctly and Your desire will manifest in the physical world any moment now. So theoretically, yes, it can be enough. But theoretically is not the point. Getting your desires in the physical world is the point, right? If your question about whether just imagining once is enough comes from a place of wanting to more fully understand how manifestation works instead of it coming from a place of just wanting something really badly and being impatient, then that's totally fine. And in that case, I suggest that you make a big list of desires you have and start experimenting with different methods, different durations, testing, imagining something just once versus imagining something several times and see what works best for you and how it works. For example, pick 30 desires and imagine each of them just once and then pick other desires, another 30 desires and imagine each one for a week. See which of the two lists manifests after all, if the items on one list manifested faster or more easily than the other. If for things you view as big and difficult, it looks like it's more effective for you to use one method versus another, etc. But if the question, wouldn't it theoretically be enough to just imagine this once, is coming from a place of wanting something to happen already, then chances are once isn't going to cut it for you when it comes to this particular desire. So keep imagining for now. 
The other way to tell if you need to keep imagining is this. If, after your imagining session, you're the same person you were before that imagining session, if a few minutes or a few hours later you notice that you've started thinking the same old thoughts and feeling the same old feelings again uh, at the same level of intensity that correspond to how you don't have your desire, then you haven't managed to convince your whole system yet to leave from the end and you should probably keep doing your imagining sessions. Neville Goddard said that when you plant the seed correctly, then you become a different person. In other words, you imagine that you are the person who has that thing, and then in the physical world, you start noticing that you're thinking and feeling and being from that person, instead of thinking and feeling and being from that old version of yourself. So if it's, let's say, a race you desire to manifest, and if you have planted the seed correctly and are living from the end now, you won't be the person who goes to the grocery store and looks at all the things that you want to purchase and think you can't afford them. You won't be this person anymore. Even though the physical manifestation of the race hasn't happened yet, you'll find yourself looking at these things and thinking how now, with that race, you're going to be able to afford them from now on. That doesn't mean you'll act as if in the physical world uh, it's already happening and buy them even if you don't have the money to pay for them yet. But if you knew you were getting a raise for sure in two months, for example, if your boss had told you so, wouldn't your attitude towards what you can and cannot afford change? You don't physically have the extra money yet, but you know you will very soon. So you start thinking like that new person who has that raise, that extra money every month, and look at stuff you want at the grocery store, for example, and think about how awesome it is that you don't have to buy the cheapest brand instead of the brand you actually want the brand you actually like anymore, because from now on, you'll have that extra money. That's an inner transformation. It's a transformation of who you are. Your boss said you're getting a raise, effective in two months from now, and you're already living in the end because you know that race is guaranteed. That's the kind of inner transformation you're imagining sessions or changing your limiting beliefs and replacing them with positive ones or scripting or any other manifestation method you use is supposed to create. So if it hasn't, and if you still find it hard to consciously switch your thoughts from the old version of you that doesn't have that thing you desire to the new version of you that has it, then you need to keep doing it, keep using the method, keep doing the imagining. For how long? You will know based on who you are being and how easy it is to live in the end. Maybe it's one more day until it really clicks and tomorrow you will behave and think and feel like a brand new person, a brand new version of you. Or maybe it will take a week. No one knows, you'll have to do it and see what happens. And the third way to know is this. If you're feeling anxious, If you're actually obsessing over how much longer you need to do this for your desire to manifest, then you're definitely not living in the end. Because when you're living in the end, you don't feel a strong desire for that thing anymore. Because you have created such a vivid image of you having it, that you're actually feeling the joy of having it before it even manifests in your physical reality. So if you struggle to feel the joy of having your desire manifested, And especially if you don't feel joy during your imagining sessions, if they feel blunt or boring instead of enjoyable, then you aren't living from the end yet and you may need to make tweaks to your imaginal scene that you're using in order to make it actually feel good to you, in order to make it enjoyable and vivid and realistic so that you don't get the urge to complain about how much longer you need to be doing this, but you actually get excited about doing your imagining sessions because they're so enjoyable, you can't get enough of them. Because this is your desire we're talking about. This is something you want to experience. So if imagining experiencing it is boring to you, either you don't actually want it, or you haven't created the right scene that evokes the right emotions in you. So these are the ways to tell if you need to keep imagining or if you have planted the seed correctly and are already living from the end. I hope this helped you understand what to do a little better. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends so they can change their lives too, and also subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video is published. I put out a new video every Sunday to help you manifest absolutely any desire you have. Thank you so much for watching.